first tournament last night, uh, all the way up to doubles and uh, top six. And I know some of you guys also came from the uh, same audience uh, watching the Nintendo World Championship. But hey, man, we're here to crown only a champion today. That's and it's right. going to be the champion of the Mango. That's right. And of course, someone will be known as the Mango, but there's already a Mango. And I, you know what? I think one is enough in the world. There's only room for one mango. There is really only room for one mango. But let's go ahead and get started with our first set of the day. Joe Mama versus Incognoodles, a.k.a. Noodles. He wants His full tag is Incognoodles, but he just wants to be called Noodles. Okay. I'm like, well, I mean, I, I, respect, I respect the tag. Why wouldn't you just make your tag Noodles then? I, I was going to say. It. You know what it is? Pretty, he had the same problem that some players have. Like, oh, there's another player with the same tag I have over there in like some other country. It's like, come on, bro. Yeah, you know, that kind of makes sense. I, I respect it. If you just want to be, you know, incognoodles, but aka noodles, aka nudes, aka just the end. No, oh, <laughs> nudes? If your tag was actually nudes, like N O D S, <laughs> that's actually a great tag. I'm sorry. I would steal that myself. <laughs> I really would. Okay, and of course, his opponent, Joe Mama, I did have the pleasure of playing with him. Uh, very solid Lucina player from the Colorado area. He came with a few other uh, melee brethren mm -hmm. who are on the other side of the venue, but he says he's the only one from like his carpool. Oh, nice. Very solid player. I, the, the best thing about the Mango, honestly, it brings players of all around the world, and especially uh, we have J Team Japan out here. Mm -hmm. Then, and then we have players from just, like you said, Colorado, and they all come in tonight just to see one of the greatest goats of all time. The only goat of all time, Mango himself, and That's not only right. that, Smash, top, uh, Smash Summit 8 qualifier. It's pretty good. I mean, ho hopefully uh, Incognoodles will qualify to win this match because right now uh, Joe Mama's making sure that's not going to happen. I mean, just Lucina and just having solid fundamentals just means that you're always going to put up a barrier and those huge sword swings make it very difficult for uh, for Jigglypuff to get in. Mm -hmm. Especially like always having the threat of the shield breaker and, you know, as soon as you break Jig's shield, she kind of just disappears. <laughs> she only sees you herself pop her and zone. she's gone. Imagine if that happened to Pichu. Oh, that would be kind of interesting. Anyways, still <laughs> able to recover. <laughs> Uh, that I, just I sounds like wishful thinking. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> More insult to injury than all the Pichu mains left oh, out there. Almost a revenge kill coming right off that angel platforming. Joe Mama with a big swing. In. Oh, yeah. He, he has to make sure that Puff does not get in the range. Doesn't hit you with the usual Puff shenanigans. Well, the one thing you have to be careful to is when the minute Puff uh, gets a whiff punish, yeah. Puff can carry you to the off stage, and Lucina has a really tough time recovering vertically. So she has to be really aware of, like, okay, as long as I have the sword out in front of Puff, I will not have to worry as much. Well, and the sword, it was in front of Puff and, got, you know, got a pretty good hit on it. Because, uh, as you can see, Noodle's already on his last stock. Okay, fair straight. Just, you know, a couple fairs. Corner carrying. Nice. Usually, looking to use that pounder use a little bit more aerial move vulnerability to come back on stage. But you got to be careful. The one thing I don't really see Noodles go for is a couple whiff punishes. That's kind of what you want to do. You want to use your footsies to kind of have your opponent approach you. Mm -hmm. You're not that great at approaching. You do have a lasting hitbox in there, but it's not the best as it was in melee. So you kind of have to be a little more cautious. You know, make sure make sure you have your opponent committing to you, rather you to commit to him. Okay. Good. Uh, good recovery coming out from Joe Mama. You know, making use of the the shield oh. breaker because. Definitely don't want to be anywhere near that. Uh, a big F smash landing on from Joe Mama. Big L too, unfortunately, <laughs> from game one. Um, he was starting to like do the go of saying he's looking dash dancing, you yeah. know, for the footsies game and all that deal. So he was looking to put that in use the last second, but unfortunately, like when you pick the place to land, you don't want to usually pick in front of your opponent. You kind of want to be a little bit more away. Especially with Lucina having such a great hitbox with and the you sword. Were, you got to remember, like you know, these sword characters, they usually have a bigger, you know, extension of a hit. Yeah, they because, really do. Yeah. You know, they have a weapon in their hand. <laughs> I always tell people, it's like, what if a character had an item, the beam sword, the entire time? Just think of that, and then visualize that. But not only that, visualize the bubble that characters, specifically the Fire Emblem cast have as them you know shulk also has like the biggest bubble picture oh, that bubble well, i don't even want to talk about shulk shulk's, yeah. shulk's an entire different different message and you know what we ain't got time for Shulk because right now we got joe mama and incog noodles again yeah. running it on battlefield the one thing like i said to you is like it, picture that bubble and always understand how that opponent brings that bubble in mm -hmm. and out of your area mm -hmm. and then learn to pun pu punish them for going for something so committal Especially when they have such M like you want to be careful when you land like that. I feel like that's what Noodles is struggling here, is the landing. Yeah, we're having a lot of difficulty landing can be a big part of this game. And Joe Mama making a lot of use of just wrecking up the damage while Noodles just struggles to recover. Oh, good direction on air dodge and was actually able to uh, avoid the down tilt that was pretty much giving Noodles a lot of trouble. Oh. But, whoa, that shield breaker. 
Okay, so far Noodles looking to use power forms to make sure he makes his return back to the stage. I do like the backer had a bit of a cross up, but coming in with Sing, it got buffed as of the latest patch, but it's, you, you still want to be careful when you're committing or something like that. And he's not going low with Sing. Man, that's no limbo. <laughs> so uh, be careful, man. Lucina will definitely not feel afraid to go out there. Interesting that Joe Mama opted to go for like a rising up air so yeah. low. Like it was below the ledge. I mean, that's typically we'll see like forward airs or back airs. So right there to give another cross up back air from Joe. I want to give. Like, I'm not. I'm not trying to discredit noodles. I do like that he's going for seeing right, trying to just cheese him out there. But unfortunately, like you're committing to the thing a little too hard. You got to watch out. That's got some startup and some cooldown that you really have to worry about. Yeah, I have, you know, I would like to see him use, if he is going to go for the, the sing options, to use it like almost like a planking motion Yeah. on the ledge. So I, I've seen Jigs do that before. It's a it's fairly good tactic. Oh, okay. I like yeah. it. Jigs to uh, recover vertically. This, I'm sorry, horizontally, so he's able to survive. I'm just spacing out Nairs. Makes it very difficult for Noodles to find his opening. I like it. Takes that drift. I think he should be recovering high, but so far he's able to survive that dash attack from Lucina. I'm like, okay, did you notice that? So Noodles put a little bit of damage on Joe's shield just to have it weak enough so that if Pound did land, it would actually break his shield. Yeah. So Joe's would, in fact, just, like, lose the stock instantly. The, the best thing about a character, like, actually both of these characters, is you want to condition your opponent to have shield, and then as the, as the shield uh, deteriorates, mm -hmm. you will have eventually the time to break it, especially for Jigs. Sometimes people get a little defensive around Jigs, and that's some, one of their biggest mistakes because then you give her a cross-up, you give her a grab, Pound, they can break your shield. Oh, even right there, punishing Miss Tech with an F smash, something we don't even see too often from Jigs. Now, another pound landing on a Joe Mama. Oh, good parry and a punish with a back air. Okay, right. we're st starting to see Noodles, you know, come into his own. Oh, oh, the rest. That was definitely an opportunity for rest, but you know that he's going to clean up that stock with a back air. All right, well, Noodles looking to finally catch up. I mean, it was looking like three stocks to one, but finally Noodles, like, picked up the pace here. And like I said, it's, it comes down to the footsies game and understand, like, okay, I don't want to be going for sing like I was doing in the neutral. Like, my neutral should be focusing around when my opponent makes that hard commitment. Good parry. And I like the fact that it drifts back a little bit, avoiding the nair. You got to watch the sword dance there because it actually can catch you off guard. Oh, another good parry. But unfortunately, the meaty fair does not uh, allow noodles to extend. I do like the defensive game that's coming out from noodles now. As soon as he gets hit, he's immediately DIing towards these ledges mm -hmm. and just like, okay, I'm going to land on ledge. I'm going to get invincibility. I'm going to reset, and then, you know, we can we can just pick it up from here. Oh, oh. but there's another sing. and so unfortunate. He risked it all, and Joe you Mama going to take like, it. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I wish he won that game because he was, like, making the comeback. Yeah, he, he was so doing really goals. good. Yeah. And then he just, uh, sing, And then, <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, bro. That's not how the game works. I wish it did, though. I wish you could just sing and put your opponent to sleep. Yo, I, think, I think a lot of jigs may wish that. Just happened. <laughs> <laughs> like anywhere in the stage, it doesn't matter. Like, like a global sing, just like. <laughs> Which time sing? Like oh, just, oh my God. Okay, no, that, we're gone too far. We're too far. Yeah. <laughs> All right, calm down, Vance. It's only <laughs> 11 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, coming up next, though, from what I can see, it is going to be Ben coming up all the way from Vegas. Like I said, the mango, the best part about the mango is so many people mm. coming from around, you know, the country and around the world. That's right. Man. And we get to see Vegas come out here, Colorado come out here, and of course, um, Melee. I think Melee is really entertaining to watch live in person. So. You know, the more...